Logan. Huh? We started already. Oh, no. no, come on now. We started. If you're not going to take this serious, then... This is very important. This is brain food right here. <laughs> See all these pineapples? Yeah. I cut pineapples for everyone. Which is everyone. Oh, that was really nice of you. Hey, guys, Logan brought pineapples mm. for everybody today. So. Cutting pineapple is the most metal thing one can do with a fruit. Metal as fuck. Because you get to sit there for ten minutes and continually gouge out eyes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Salivated. Uh, have a pineapple. I will. Because you know what people love? Mm. Watching people eat while they're streaming. Mm. Mm. You guys don't have these pineapples. <laughs> and I've got mealy bananas. Mmm, mm, mealy bananas. <laughs> They're better Those cold. are much better than ranged bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you a ranged yeah. banana in a minute. Yeah. Is that what Lucy, we, we brought pineapples for everybody. You guys just have to come and get some. Yeah, come get some pineapples. Yeah. There's Where plenty, the hell have you been? There's plenty of pineapple here for everyone. I feel like the desk is taller than normal, is it? Push one. You did push one. Okay. You well, think this is my first day setting stuff up? Okay. Oh, I'm just not on the rug anymore. Yeah. I am one or two millimeters lower than normal. <laughs> oh my goodness. There's a great disturbance in the forest. <laughs> Holy hell. Uh, yeah, this is, this is not okay, everybody. Um, so once it hits 15, then we'll do the intro. Not, yep. not before. No. So tell your friends, tell your neighbors, Here tell your I was kids. ready to push the intro button. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Everybody. Mm. What? What? 15 viewers, come on. Well, you guys can do it. Isn't all that fruit going to make you get each other's genitals really... really get any what? Gonna get each other's genitals really, really sticky. Oh, you just read that out loud. Yeah. You read it before you knew what you were reading, didn't you? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I saw yeah. the word genitals then, and went from there. Then you're committed. Yeah, it's already there. It's gonna... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Was our chat on the screen right now? I can't see. Hold on a second. Let me make sure... I don't know, we're on. We're on the... Where's the chat? Man, I don't know. It was showing Somebody up. Somebody say something. Someone say something in chat. I want to see if it shows up. Somebody follow. 17 viewers. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Tonight on the show. Yeah, see, look, it's popping up right there. Sweet. We're great. Great. Yes. Great. All right, let's, I'm going to share something. Oh, oh the no. One. Why is it doing this? Shit. <laughs> Unprofessional OBS. This is Come new. on. This is new. New developments. Yeah, god damn it, OBS. I'm going I'm to have to go do it right now. Main... You can't. You have to put it on there. Fine. We'll go you back. guys are going to watch our dashboard. Yeah, here, here's our dashboard, gang. <laughs> OBS just decided to change the fucking Chrome window. We... And we wanted to give you guys the impression that we had our shit together this time. <laughs> we don't. It's a lie. It's a total lie. We have never had our shit together. Come on now. That's not... It's awful. Hey, how about that? Hey! hey! All right. This is something I just want to talk about for a minute because everyone is talking about, you know, how the future computers are going to have more processing power and we've got all these AI chips coming out and everything like that and everyone wants AI to go crazy. <laughs> I don't want AI to ever be better than this. Like, never, ever in a million years. Do you need desktop audio on for that? Yeah, a little bit of desktop audio will do us right now. Like, it should never be the better. The sounds just keep going. And the reason is, is that... Okay, there's so much humor in this. Hey, thanks, Rhaegor. Yo, what's up? Thank you very much. Yeah. And the original Deus Ex had awful AI. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the finale here. <laughs> Come on. This guy uploaded this thing to uh, to Reddit. All right, here. <laughs> that was a rat. It was a fat one. That's the best part of games like this. Games from Looking Glass. Games from yeah. you know, the old Ion Storm games and stuff like that. When you have this terrible artificial intelligence, and then the you know the enemies just go like, "Was that a rat?" Or you just shoot someone in the neck, and they're yeah. like, "The hell was that?" I think yeah. I'm seeing ghosts. Yeah, they literally watch their friend's head get blown up, and they're just like, huh, well, it's probably nothing. It's probably rats. People's head <laughs> randomly explode all the time in this world that we live in, so, you yeah, know. Yeah, what's up with rats in video games, anyway? Like, every, there must be, like, 
in, in the, the game designers' worlds that they're mm-hmm. creating, there must be just rats everywhere just wreaking havoc. That sounds like really unsanitary. Things, just breaking everything because every time anything ridiculous happens, you could steal something really valuable, yeah. you could knock over a shelf, it shatters everywhere, and the guy will come and look at it and go, huh, must have been rats. Yeah, like like every time. Insanely strong, super intelligent rats that know that are like prone to bouts of thievery and destruction. Like <laughs> It's always rats, man. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get into science for just a second, shall we? Shall we? I'm into science. I wanna do a whole segment on how I don't want AI to progress past that. What is this? Where have you where have you been? It was a one time thing. With that, that cougar outside? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. So, guys, let's talk about science for just a minute. Uh, this is a pretty cool thing. They have been able to restore some of the mitochondria or fix the mitochondria that, that breaks down and kills your cells. Mm-hmm. And they have been able to reverse wrinkling and hair loss in mice. And the implication is they may be able to do this with humans. And they're thinking that this is also going to, to help with a lot of like diseases that are associated with aging, like uh, diabetes, mm. um, sometimes, may- maybe even Alzheimer's. But and diabetes. Diabetes. Thank you. Betus. Betus. Science! So, yeah. this is pretty cool. And I'm really looking forward to this because uh, if, if it does that for your outside, what's it going to do for your inside? I just want to live as long as possible and feel... Um, as healthy as I can the entire time. That's the goal. Mm. You know, this is live. A Venus Targaryen. Uh, anus. What? I'm not saying it. <laughs> I'm putting a V where the the oh. E is. I've decided. One of the lesser known Targaryens. Uh, he <laughs> like anus. fifth in line for the throne. <laughs> oh God, the throne. Never mind. Yeah. All right. So that that's pretty cool. What's going on with science? But this. Yeah. So, scientists say that they can recreate living dinosaurs within the next five years. Have you learned nothing? Where, where's our buddy? Oh, shit. It's fine. It's fine. You guys. We spent so much time thinking about whether or not we can. We never spent time to think about if we should. You know, we, we spent a lot of time thinking whether or not we could with just the DNA, right? Yeah. So the guy who's working on this, uh, where is his name here? I'll find it. Dr. Jack Horner, right? He's someone that they've used as a consultant for the Jurassic Park movies. And um, some, well, I guess one of the characters is half based on him, uh, Malcolm. Is Dr. Ian no, no, Malcolm. Malcolm. No, no, Malcolm. Oh. Uh, uh, what's his name? Grant. The, uh, Grant is okay. half, half based on him. So he always thought that this was achievable, uh, by getting some of the DNA out of Ember, but then they realized the DNA, uh, when left that long, deteriorates, so mm-hmm. they're probably not going to be able to do it. But now, thanks to CRISPR and some gene editing technology, they can go in to chickens, which are like the one of the closest things on Earth, other That's than true. emus. You don't want to. Yeah, birds are dinosaurs, damn it. Yeah, but yeah. they're pretty much dinosaurs. Mm-hmm. So they can go into chickens and they can find like the code. Like there's still like a lot of junk code in chickens. Like yeah. if you have like an operating system and it's been like. <laughs> Six or seven generations of the same operating system. By the time you get to the seventh generation, you'll look and you'll be like, oh, there's so much junk code in here that's not being used. Yes, train, we are recording right now. Thank you for checking. We can't edit the train out anymore. I just, yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't exist. Yeah. So now uh, what they can do is they can, they can go in and they can say like, okay, during the development of this embryo, right here is the spot in the development where the DNA says, hey, make feathers, or hey, make a tail. Yeah. And here's the spot where it says, hey, make a beak, or hey, make a mouth full of teeth. Yeah. And here's the spot where it says, make wings, or make little handy things. Yeah. Right. And then bingo. So they can flip, Dinosaur DNA. Start flipping these switches, and pretty soon they'll have little... You know what they're going to have? They're going to have greasels. Let me just get a greasel. Uh, yes, Thermophile. They did make chicken with dino teeth. We talked about this like yeah, they made that a in million Australia. years on Crit Show. Back in the day, we talked about, like, they they managed to form them with, like, scary fucking dino teeth instead of, you know. I gotta find a greasel. There it is. Wow, that thing looks like it could. They're gonna make a greasel. Yeah. So this is, if you guys have not played the first Deus Ex, that's a greasel. That's, that's exactly what they're gonna make. I'm... That's it, right there. Yeah. You guys want greasels? I want greasels. Yeah. I don't know if I want a greasel. You don't know if you want a greasel. No. I want to, I'd like a, I think I've said this before, but I want, I want a like teacup woolly mammoth. <laughs> teacup woolly mammoth? Yeah, just to like. Oh, 
Good lord. Why? Every time we go to LA, there's going to be a bunch of purse mammoths now. Yep. And purse... With like pink colored mammoths and stuff like that. And like little mammoth sweaters. and It's just an accessory that happens to yeah. shit a lot. That's all. But they would make really great little noises. Yeah. Re- release the crack and you could have like a f- saltwater tank with, well, I guess that would just be having a squid in it, wouldn't it? What, like if a you little, had like a kraken, a miniature kraken. Yeah, isn't that just a squid? Isn't that just a fucking squid? Uh, no, no, no. I th- today I went out uh, for lunch and I got a big plate of salted miniature kraken. Yeah, mm, delicious. Yeah, deep fried miniature kraken, <laughs> the best. Believe, believe me. Yeah. What's this? Oh, you could talk to the, about. No oh, thanks, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> I meant that you read. Yeah, the, nope, you... nope. You said it. It's too late now. <laughs> I meant you've read the article and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> but seriously, talk about your porn addiction. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right. So. Oh God. So a while back, <laughs> Science like put out this whole article thing, being like uh, that there is such thing as porn addiction, where it like like <laughs> looking. Sci- at- Wait a minute, Science put this out. Just, yeah, just like, science came out like just science. We as science a whole. have like, stated. I science declare. <laughs> That porn is an addiction. So basically what they were saying is that uh, if you spend a lot of time looking at porn online and stuff like that, it like affects your brain in such a way that like you become addicted to it and you start having the same kind of tendencies towards needing to feed your brain with porn, much like someone would like, like they, they hearkened it back in the day to like a nicotine dependency almost with like, like, but, but needing to see them boobs. So, um, <laughs> So, at this point now, they've done more research, and it turns out that, no, people just really like looking at boobs. Like, But it's not an addiction. It's like, not an addiction. You can quit any time. Like, you still got problems, but it's not like, like, you can't testify in court. Like, your honor, I did it because I'm addicted to porn. And then have them be like, oh, you poor man. My uncle was addicted to porn. Like, that won't count. <laughs> and that's yeah. why he burned down the school. Yeah, because I was addicted to porn. Because, yeah. I was addicted to burning school porn. <laughs> And, like, I had to keep on escalating. It's, it's a problem. <laughs> T-Rex. Said, someone give him... Yes! A, a, a cook... Oh, my God. Whatever, a thousand $100. points for Tony Stark. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what we do. we do. Like, whose line? Points don't matter. Yeah. Welcome to Serious Business, where the... Points don't matter. Where the rules are made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> the rules are real, and the rules yeah. say that you guys should go grab some stuff. Uh, this is Epic Pants, guys. Our shameless store. plug. Yep. Yep. I, it's not even... It's not even shameless. I don't, I don't care. It's We're on point. Shame, I don't care. What, yeah. um, still my favorite mouse, guys. The the standard issue. I still love it. So check that out. Uh, how many of you guys in the comments have one of these things? Let us know. Um, Me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you were supposed to. Okay, fine. Oh, you did. Uh, anyway. Am I not part of this community? Is that? Is yeah, that, but oh, it's sure. obvious. It's That's... just like... <laughs> Fine. Like how many people are here wearing a baby blue uh, blazer? <laughs> baby blue blazer. <laughs> oh, baby blue hey. blazer. So you're wearing your baby blue blazer. <laughs> Buttered biscuits. <laughs> you got buttery biscuits on your baby blue blazer. <laughs> um, Steam TV. No real news is happening today, guys. <laughs> oh, there's something happening on happening on Steam TV. Oh, we're watching Dota. Ew. <laughs> is it? I have no follow-up. You got nothing? It. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have anything to follow up with? No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know if I can help. Shut up. Shut up. You ever, you ever see yourself? that? You ever see that post that they put a, about uh, like back in the day? Someone was like, "Hey, what's the name of the river in the middle of the Dota map? Like, what's it called?" Did you ever read read that? Like, uh, no. Someone's I'm... response was like, "I'm pretty sure it's called the river is called you fag because oh, no. every time I go near it, someone says, get away from the river, you fag.' <laughs> <laughs> it is it is the, the you fag river. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. Um, someone asked about there's mentioned uh, shipping to Europe. I'm going back to our this. Yeah. Uh, I fixed the shipping to Europe. We were having an issue where um, at first when I first installed the software, I just put Europe under one blanket. And something happened after an update. Ended up having to go into the software and entering every single country in Europe as a separate item for our shipping system. So now the shipping is going to be way less expensive. Um, What's his name? J- Jerry. Are Pop you- heads. Is that his name? Yeah. Jerry, are you asking about about this yeah. picture right here? That picture is uh, that's Malcolm. 
This is Jeff Goldblum portraying Dr. Ian Malcolm in the original Jurassic Park movie. Anyway. Reminding us that life uh, finds a way. I hope they do it anyway. I don't care. Right. I, think, I think we need dinosaurs. I would still go, like, like for all the, like, God, haven't we watched Jurassic Park? Don't we know any better? Like, I'd still go fucking see him. Are you kidding me? Like, shit. I would, a couple months of wages like, of Y'all want to look at a stegosaurus? Absolutely. Like, sure. Yeah. Can you bring it over to my house, though? I'd, I'd rather... Anyway, this <laughs> is Steam.TV. I don't know what they're doing with this. It looks mm-hmm. like it's going to be maybe something to rival Twitch TV. So they have a system here that's kind of interesting. You can click here to watch with your friends. You can get a bunch of friends together and all hop into mm-hmm. a channel and watch together if okay. you wanted to. They're you can do that with your friends here. Yeah, you can do that with your friends right here. I'm not sure how the friends works here on mm-hmm. Twitch. I've, I just noticed, that like, hey, I've got a bunch of friend, friend requests. Can you do that on Twitch? I, I don't know. I don't really. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not really on That Twitch being said, you guys should bring your friends in here. Yeah. Bring your friends. Yeah. Tell them all about us. Free beer. Yeah. And hot wings. And hot wings for anyone here. Yeah. <laughs> And pineapple. <laughs> you guys can have some pineapple too, yes. Yeah. So anyway, I'm not sure what's going on with this, but let's keep an eye on it. Yeah. Could be cool. <clears throat> I don't know. Oh. Yes. Got another thing here? I thought I had another bit of Steam news. Let's go to that before we go to this. Oh, yeah. So Steam has released uh, a new version of Steam Play. And this is kind of interesting because they're taking a version of Wine, uh, which is... Uh, wine is not a whatever. Uh, it's essentially so you can play your Windows games... Yeah. On Linux, mm-hmm. yeah. Only possible to stream to friends. Interesting. Yeah, so now you can just stream to any old person. They'll, they'll change that, Targaryen. Mm. So anyway, right now, they are making Windows games run on Linux uh, with some sort of a DirectX foo that they're doing. And right now, here's the list, and it's going to get longer. And you can also try unsupported games. It'll run in sort of a DirectX container. Mm. That goes through and passes through to Vulkan, and it might be a little bit slower than it is on Windows, but you're going to be able to play your Windows games on Linux. So I, I think I'll give that a try. The officially supported games list is not huge, but it's got some good ones on there, like some old school, like Doom. Can't you already play that? Yeah, Nier but Automata. no one has time to sit through the loading screen. What's the newest game on here? Near Nier Automata? Yeah. Hmm. hmm. I don't know. So that's cool. All right. This. Guys, look how much this looks like Hotline Miami. Like, I actually thought I was watching Hotline Miami right here. Didn't you? Yeah, if there was, if there was the right soundtrack over it. Yeah. Um, what's James Davenport from PC Gamer smoking? This is like Tenchu. It's not like Hotline Miami at all. Like, yeah. I, I don't see any Hotline Miami in here. Like. Other than maybe the smaller in, levels. In the sense of, like, you move through an area and kill people. Oh, that's Hotline Miami. It's like Hotline Miami. <laughs> but, like. That under that logic, pretty much any game that involves killing somebody else is pretty much like Hotline Miami. Then, yeah, I was playing a, this baseball game the other day, yeah. baseball bat, just like Hotline Miami. Oh man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. that's one hundred percent. Yeah, same. I was playing this game the other day that had neon colors in it, so yep. it was exactly like Hotline Miami. I actually, when I came in, yeah. I thought it was Hotline Miami just from hearing the soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, the guys behind. <laughs> Let me scroll to the top here. I'm just going to call that click. Yes, that, that is clickbait. Yeah, yeah, it is pretty much clickbait. But, oh my God, he's, it's right. It's He's got like half the internet posting this link online yeah. and being like, what the hell are you talking about? What's wrong with James Davenport? We're doing it wrong. We need to just post nonsense and watch everyone try yeah. to correct. Everyone will rush to correct us and then we'll yeah. get lots of hits. We just need to say anything is the hotline Miami of, of like games. Or just any kind of yeah. nonsense. you know. Or like, just call it like Dark Souls S. That's the other one too. I could be like, hey, nice red jacket. Everyone will show up to correct you. Fuck! It's blue! Oh, God! Everyone is. And then they're going to share the link. Look how dumb this guy is. Yeah. <laughs> we know everything about the internet now. Um, so anyway, the guys who are making Dark Souls are working on this game. It's uh, Sirico and uh, Shadows Die Twice. That's how you have to say that. Shiriko I think it looks a lot like Tenchu. Twice. But let me know what you guys think it looks like in the in the uh, comments over there. How do Shadows Die the first times? I don't know. Yeah. Or mm. yeah, or you could be like everyone's grandma and call all games Mario. <laughs> Not Mario, because play- that's the way you're... Oh, you're playing a Mario game? My dad says Nintendos. Nintendos? Like all games yeah. are... Uh, y'all, y'all playing some Nintendos? Yeah. Oh, which Nintendos are you playing today? 
Oh, I'm playing these Nintendos. Yeah, my dad, my dad. I, I accidentally respond to him that way. I'm like, yeah. oh, uh, today I'm playing this Nintendo's called uh, uh, Daggerfall. Uh, my dad thought every game was Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man everything? So, yeah, like, he at some point learned that... Uh, hi, Dad, I'm talking about you in the show for once. Uh, at one point he learned that, like, there were multiple Mega Mans, like Mega Man 1, 2, you know, so on and so forth. So from that point on, whenever I was playing a game, he would just be like, oh, which version of Mega Man is this? And I would be like... <laughs> Mega Man 60? I don't this know. Is, like, this is black and white, Dad. Like, no. no. Like, <laughs> They're all Mega Mans. <coughs> so they're either Mario's, Mega Mans, yeah. or Nintendo's. Yeah. Mega did, Man, Hotline Miami. What, what did your parents What did your parents call them? Tell us. Yeah. There um, may be a pistol to Logan's head today. What? What are these guys? A pistol to my head. I can fix that. Do we have one? Yeah. Sure, yeah. We can, we can put a pistol on the side of my head. That, that, <laughs> It's not like it's the first time it's ever happened to me. <laughs> Been running for the cops all my life. I'm about to show the wind jammers thing. You sure? I'm gonna, I'm showing the wind jammers thing. You guys don't even know. So wind jammers. God, this is the most intense thing. It's, it's frisbee. Look how epic this frisbee is. Oh, you've got we've got the wind jammer right here. We've got our own wind jammer right here. This is so. This is. Look at how epic this is. This is why the office is so cool now. <laughs> how do you make frisbee this ep- epic? Like this. This is how you do it. Jesus God. Like. <laughs> I cannot wait for this game. The first one was ridiculous. Yep. Um, but I believe I'll have to start drinking a little bit more to yeah. Look to at fully this. enjoy it. <laughs> The only way that you can serve that back is by going super saiyan and throwing it at somebody. Like, yep. That's there's it. there's ultimate frisbee, and then there's wind jammer. <laughs> we got some more gaming stuff to talk about. I, I think everyone out there should look at this game. It's not getting enough recognition. It's called Neon Code. It's made by one guy, mm. and it's about ninety minutes of gameplay so far. And it looks pretty interesting here. This is just someone doing a playthrough of it, so this may spoil it. But it has a very Deus Ex uh, look. Some of the stuff reminded me a little bit more of Deus Ex 1, but he's the, it's more of a story game. You go and talk to people and stuff. And you guys can download it for free. It's only on his WordPress blog right now. It's not, nothing fancy. Damn. But it's cool to see what one person can do. He considers this just a hobby, so he threw it all together. And you can go over to neoncodegame.wordpress.com. Doesn't even have a regular, like, mm-hmm. full website. I almost want to call him and be like, dude, do you want us to, like, get you a domain name and, like, donate... Uh, 30 minutes of time to make it a real website. I mean, the WordPress website looks fine, but sure. But uh, check it out. If you guys think it's cool, uh, donate. But I bet this guy gets snapped up by somebody to, mm. what is this? These guys want my cookies. What don't, should I do? Don't let them take your cookies. <laughs> I'm nervous about this gun. Is this what you guys asked for? Yeah. Is this what you wanted? Are you happy? I hope you're all happy. You brought me to this. See? Pistol. See? Welcome, everybody. Yes. Hope you, hope you enjoyed that. We got our thumbnail. Yep, there's our thumbnail. <laughs> got our thumbnail. <laughs> Say hello to thumbnail. Yep. All right. Oh, this is old. This, we already talked about yep. this. This is some fun stuff. And this is a trend that's kind of happening above and beyond just Huawei. Huawei is now number two behind I thought it was Samsung. Huawei. Huawei. How, Huawei? Huawei? It's Huawei. Huawei. <laughs> it's Huawei. It's not Huawei. I don't know. I need like a mouthful of oatmeal to say it properly. Huawei. <laughs> like, you actually need like, you need things. Where? Where? <laughs> okay. Anyway, they've, they've been caught faking their photos again. And to their defense, they didn't actually come out and say that they were using the camera to take these photos, the camera on their new phone. Mm-hmm. But they did this. You know, they put this little thing together. And watch every time they pull out the phone and use it. It's like, there it is. And then, okay. They didn't, but they didn't say that it wasn't the phone, Mm -hmm. right? That's their defense. We didn't say it wasn't. I mean, we didn't say it was the phone. So, you know, here's this picture right here. Blam, right? That one. So check this out. Someone posted a behind the scenes photo, like on their Instagram being like, yay, I'm an actress. Look what I'm doing. Yay. Look at me. (laughs) (laughs) And they totally gave it away, right? There's a professional photographer sitting, taking that picture. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? So, um, 
Hawaii. So Hawaii. Yeah. Hawaii. <laughs> While they're bracing for the hurricane, they're faking photos. Huawei. 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 That really pisses me off because they actually have decent cameras on their devices. I think their newest, yeah. their newest one has like 90 cameras. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, they feel the need to do this. Yeah. And that's the, la- the lady in red. That's her Twitter. Yeah. Way to ruin it for Huawei, lady. You still proud of the fact that you're an actress now? <laughs> oh, God. There's, I have to document every 10 minutes. Yeah. I'm, I'm on camera right now, but I need to also document everything I'm mm-hmm. doing so that people can know everything that I'm doing 24 hours a day. Yeah. Because I'm so fucking special. You're fucking special. In your Huawei advertisement. Huawei. <laughs> Huawei. 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 Um, the thing that's interesting about this is um, the Huawei was not really apologetic other than saying, you know, we never said it was the actual camera. It Guys, just was implied it's, through creative storytelling of their commercial. And it's so standard in the business just to, like, lie. Like, lying is just... It, yeah. it wasn't like... Maybe it was always a big deal. I don't know. Just in the 80s, you couldn't really look it up because you didn't have the internet. Yeah. You know? Maybe they did lie just as much. Maybe I'm an idiot. I don't know. But it's just kind of disturbing to see that companies have no remorse and they'll just tell you whatever just because you, you know, hey, buy, buy shit. So, all right, what's next here on the list? Oh, yes. Ah, speaking about companies being terrible. Uh, Verizon, never. Verizon, no. Verizon would never. Yeah, they would. So, uh, Verizon, you know, the fires that are raging on the West Coast right now and stuff like that. Uh, Verizon throttled the data usage for the firefighters that were actively fighting the California blaze. Throttled their unlimited their, plans. Yeah, unlimited. Uh, so... They throttled them, which actually like caused them to have more difficulties, you know, d- doing their emergency services and stuff. So they called Verizon about it and stuff, and Verizon was like, "Oh, we'd be more than happy to help you out with that. All you got to do is pay more and get on a different data plan, and we'll totally hook you up." So you know, so all you got to do is pay more. So they yeah. they had a plan that was thirty something dollars a month, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they said, "Well, yeah, it's unlimited until you hit your your bandwidth cap. That's the problem. Is they un- you can unlimitedly use the internet." Until mm-hmm. you use this much. Yeah. As much as you want until that. But it's unlimited until you get mm-hmm. there. And then it's yeah. just really slow after that. Yeah. This like this is an unlimited can of coffee. It's got all the coffee I could ever want in here until it's gone. That's un- un- unlimited coffee. Yeah. Unlimited coffee. So here's the variety. Until it's done. Until it's gone. And then I have to pay to get more coffee if I want it. So but while you have it, it's <laughs> yeah. But while I have it, it's totally so. Yeah. So and <laughs> Verizon, in all of their like unwillingness to admit that they made a mistake or anything like that, said simply it was a customer service error, and that normally during times of crisis, Verizon makes it a point to completely remove all of the b- data bandwidth caps that they have on emergency services teams. This was simply a customer service issue where some guy called and then they were like, "Oh, we can't help you," and then they charged him for it because why would Verizon? and do that intentionally they they wouldn't do that to to people that are fighting wildfires and stuff see the thing that's interesting about this is they've also turned this into an argument about net neutrality and mm-hmm. verizon is saying this has nothing to do with net neutrality and the fire department's saying like yes it does have something to do with net neutrality because before all of this nonsense we were you know they're, they're special the emergency mm-hmm. services should have special connections they should have special everything because there are emergency backbones yeah um and they need it this is life and death like there's even a firefighter down here the first comment who says that, that, yeah, this is dangerous if not outright deadly. You know, this yeah. kind of stuff. Uh, not having access to these things because they rely on them now. They're, it's not mm-hmm. like the way they used to, do, you know, used yeah. to. Yeah, cell phones um, have completely changed how emergency services can respond and connect with each other. So like, if, you know, if the government's just going to, like, let them let them go and just, you know, no net neutrality, let them do whatever, the least that they could do is say, okay, listen, no net neutrality, but you guys have to take care of emergency services. That's mm-hmm. the only thing. You know, you guys can screw the population because that's kind of our MO, right? The government, we just hook up the businesses and screw the population. But the least we could do is take care of the emergency services because yeah. what if someone rich gets hurt? Think about that. There's a lot of fancy houses in California that could be on fire. Ooh, so. yeah. What if they caught on fire? <gasps> yep. <laughs> what? Hmm, yes. And they overturned that uh, uh, rules. They had throttling. So th- Thermophile, um, I actually have a, an unlimited T-Mobile account that I've had for like 15 years. And I was able to upload like 20 something gigabytes at CES using my tethered phone. And they did not throttle me. So mm-hmm. I've got a super grandfathered account on T-Mobile. And I'm not sure if they're going to one day wake up and be like, this account here. They keep saying like, hey, would you like to upgrade to this new shit? Would you like to upgrade to this new shit? And I'm like, 
no, I'm fine. I've had the same thing for like 20 years. I'm, don't talk to me ever again. It, but it's but your thing is ten dollars more expensive. Shut up. Like <laughs> go away. Your new your nude fine print is not cool. Mm. Not not touching that. All right, let's get into some pop culture TV news, yes. shall we? Or do you want to see what we're playing? Let's do. Let's do. What oh, you want to talk about what we're playing? Yeah, let's show you guys what we've been playing this week. Yes. And this guy. Sync. No, this is not desync though. It looks a lot like it. This is like if desync and Mother Gunship had a baby. Uh, game. This is Hypergun. So it is a room wave survival game where you. So you're in like a cyberpunk room here, yep, hanging out. This neon chrome room. Uh, neon chrome's a game. I know. Not bad. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it's all about surviving each wave, and then as you go through, you will uh, get different upgrades for your guns that all do all kinds of different effects and stuff, and it's about trying to make your way through the levels while getting more and more powerful guns that will eventually do more ridiculous things. So is um, it a, like a roguelike, you, when you die, you get to start over from the beginning, or yep. can you restart this one level? Uh, well, so far I've, I've only played the first level, so each time I've had to start over at level one again, but I'm not sure what happens if you make it to level two. But we got to make it to level two. Yeah. The, it took me a while to figure out the boss from the first level, so I had to... I, so, I mean, every level's gonna have, like, a different boss, I guess? Yep. Um, at, yeah, they'll all have different boss at the end of the level. The, there's a map that you can unlock. There's different keys and stuff you can pick up. Different enemies that will have different kinds of attack patterns and stuff that you have to look out for. Do you have a scope? Uh, no, you don't. Oh, it just looks it's like It's just a for scope. show. The scope is that, for that's show. That's for show. Yeah. So, like I said, this is kind of like uh, Mother Gunship. In a lot of ways, which so you're not really building a gun. You're yeah, just you're just it. you're just upgrading gun with all kinds of random wacky attachments, like as you go through the game. So unlike Mother Gunship, you don't get to decide what you want to build. Mm. But the thing I do like about this is that ooh, the map. Uh, so yeah, now I have this nice. You got the map now. Map so you got the synth wave soundtrack going mm -hmm. on that absolutely no one is doing. Yep. Fresh idea. So I mean, cool. I like it. I'm glad that everyone in our generation has grown up and brought the '80s back. Yep. That's 80s cool. is the best genre right now, you guys. It is, I can't it is wait. its own genre. I can't wait for the 90s to be a genre in 10 years. God, no. No. Everything will be... <laughs> it's all going to be Eddie Vedder voice. Boom, oh, hey, scram. So... No, that's, uh, that's not what I want. So, what I do like about this game is that I don't have to reload. Everything can just get the fuck out of my way. Um, so, like, with Mother Gunship, you have to take into account, like, your energy consumption and stuff on the guns you build. So, like, you, you can build a really rad gun, but you can walk, if you walk out and you can only fire it twice, then you have to run around the level and try not to die. And you're just hip-firing this thing, right? There's no, I mean, there's no aim down sights or anything nothing like that. that I've, nothing that I've discovered yet. And you know, everything shoots straight. There's no, like, major recoil, so... Uh, I've had some stuff with spread shots and things like that oh, so yeah. far, but nothing, yeah. And there's different things that'll do, like, kind of flamethrower -y type stuff. There's all kinds of different attachments and things that'll happen. But not, unlike, like I said, none of it's really in your control. It's just randomly stuff that you get, you know? All right. So, so it's not just one big room, so you're actually making in your way through levels yep. and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting. Yep. And you can grab some upgrades in here. Or yeah, I, I can't afford a, any of them. Stuff. Nope. That's, that's the one thing that I've noticed so far is, like, bits, which are what you use to pay for stuff, are really tough to come across in this. Bits? Like, I wonder if these work on, on Twitch. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so, like, it's just really tough to get, to, like, find one of those rooms after because I've killed... What's this big know, dude? That's some big shield fuck that He's charging from. you, yeah? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Gotta deal with that guy. Yep, so there's these snipers with the portable thing so far. There's those things that are called hornets. Oh god, he's right. <laughs> right on your ass. Go away! Go away! Go away! Shut up! Shoot you in the legs. Okay, so double damage for headshots. Yep. Cool. Uh, so who do you think should play this? Eh, people that like these kind of, you know, wave shooter survival things. And a pump and synth wave soundtrack. Yeah. The soundtrack's actually pretty rad so far. All right, then. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching Hotline Miami. Yeah, there. the newest Hotline Miami game is just perfect. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, no, I didn't die. That was the end of it. That was just the end of it, yeah. That's, that's all. Yeah. It ends on blackness.
Just most, like most things. Yes. All right. Um, let's talk about some pop nerd culture yes. stuff. Yes. All right. Galaxy Quest TV show is put on hold because uh, some movie talk stuff. What is it right here? Um, I don't remember. Mm. But this is the first. Uh, what is uh, There it is. I don't know. They didn't really give a reason. Great but, info. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've forgotten why, but <laughs> so, I think uh, the, someone's working on something else. There we go. Yeah. Um, so at some point they are going to be putting. The firing of the Paramount TV president. That's what it was. Oh, uh, okay. Something uh, happened. Yeah. So <laughs> they are working on a Galaxy Quest TV show that's supposed to be coming out on Amazon at some point. Um, I'm not 100% sure how they're actually going to pull it off without Alan Rickman. Yeah. Like, I, his, Dr. Lazarus was just such a good character in the movie that, like, uh, and, like, just, the, the, like, it was really that play between Sigourney Weaver's character, Tim Allen's character, and Alan Rickman's character. Like, that that core play between the three of them was like a huge deal so like like for him not to be in it it's gonna be really weird you know i feel like amazon right now is trying a lot of like me too type stuff mm-hmm. but they're doing it in a good way so like you know like they, they look at hbo's success with game of thrones and they're like oh shit uh we need uh, lord of the rings that's big yep i've heard that I, you know like uh, what's his name baldy what's his name um bezos Be- yeah uh, bezos bezos bub the dread pirate bezos <laughs> the dread pirate bezos is like uh, can we get some of that uh, mm. fantasy stuff? He's what? like, what's a fantasy thing? What's that? Uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. What's that thing Led Zeppelin's always singing about? Yeah. Do that one. Yeah. So yeah. they got Lord of the Rings coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they're like, huh, the Orville, huh? Yeah. And then everyone likes Star Trek and Star Wars. What else is there out there? Galaxy Quest. People know that name. It's tried and true. <laughs> yeah. They just typed into Am- to Google like Star Trek-like movie. And they were like, oh, Galaxy Quest. A lot of people really like this and shit. Then and then they're like, isn't someone already doing that? And then they're like... No, sir, that's the Orville. Yeah. You know? And they're like, oh, well, what else from the 80s and stuff? What else nostalgia can we just revamp? Like, oh, let's do the Karate Kid again. That was okay. YouTube, yeah. Yeah, that was YouTube. That uh, was YouTube. That was YouTube. Well, yeah, yeah Amazon, Amazon just wants to make a lot of stuff to compete with Netflix and everybody yeah. and HBO and everything else. So, cool. Galaxy Quest, I'll take it. Uh, Tim Allen was surprisingly not in prison at the moment or anything like that. Nothing's wrong. He's just cool. I feel like he's cleaned up his shit a lot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm just giving him hell. Yeah. If I ever see you uh, in person, Tim Allen, uh, uh, let's fist fight for no reason. Make him make the noise. <laughs> like, do you think he'll make the noise when you punch him? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, just, just keep talking about stuff while yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, I, do you want me to keep talking about? Just, uh, talk about whatever. Yeah, and, sure. No problem. While I do this. Can we? Can we get some audio here? Yeah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Oh, you muted our mic. Yes, I did. We got to talk over this. We do? Oh, okay. (laughs) This is too good. Yes. (laughs) There's also another one where, uh, like, Doom, where everything is replaced with Tim Allen. Yeah. This is my favorite one, though. Yeah. Because the water right here, you're outside the the sound. (laughs) Oh, God. The sound of you. I'll turn this back off. The sound of the water lapping and everything. Mm. That's all we need in our lives. What's this crap? AV Club? What is this? What? No oh, thanks. no thanks. Yeah. Hey! Yeah! So, years later, the creators of the N64 game GoldenEye, you may have heard of it, uh, have officially ruled that Oddjob is cheating. Sorry, little brothers everywhere. Oddjob is cheating. <laughs> is it a little brother character? I feel like it's whoever could get him first, right? I mean, like... I, I mean, every time I sat down to play GoldenEye with friends, the rule was no Oddjob. Yeah. Like, every, it was just widely accepted. Like, nope, you can't use Oddjob. I'm like, shut up, I'm Minsk. Yeah. So, it was like... You know, hmm. the only the only the only re- way I could see like maybe it would be okay for you to uh, use odd job is if you were like that last friend that, to come over and like you have to use the kind of broken Mad Cats Here's controller. Mad Cats. Yeah, <laughs> so like that transparent Mad Cats controller. That's... Like you can use that. It's stuck on turbo for some reason, so you can be odd job if you want. Then, but like yeah, and the RTP ninety <laughs> is going to be slower because turbo is not as fast as just yeah. Auto. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, so uh, Zeke, Zeke mentions um, GoldenEye Source. GoldenEye Source, Oddjob, I feel, is actually a bad character. Yeah. Because if I just swing around the corner naturally, a lot of people's chest is right where my crosshair is. Mm-hmm. But he comes around the corner and he's like right the headshot yep. every time. I'm like, oh, this is nice. Mm-hmm. So 
the great equalizer is the mouse yeah. there. But with the you know goofy control scheme on a controller, where you're like, we just go, I'm going to get you. And, yeah. And then, how did you how did you hold an N64 controller? I did uh, I did 1.2, which is Turok mode. Okay. Where you did you you actually move with the C the C buttons right? You got an N64 right. controller over there. Do. No, I, I'm, I'm just wondering. Bring out the demonstration team. I'm wondering how you actually held it in your hands. Oh. Yeah. Correctly. I'm. I'm. When you're asking that, I'm already imagining that you're doing it incorrectly. All right, we got an N64 controller coming over for further examination. Mm -hmm. All right, so. Yeah. N64 controller for that game. Uh huh. I held it this way. Okay. Of course, because. And then I used this to move my character around, and this was my head, essentially. This was okay. my aim aim or whatever. So, yeah, this was like strafe and strafe. This is, it's Turok mode. Yeah. It's way better than the other way, in my opinion. But I just, I just meant, like, when you played the game, did you hold it here? Oh, yeah. I mean, okay. Who, who I, held always, it like, I did. But how did you shoot? The Z button was the fire. This finger. What? What? Nobody does this. In the uh, Come on, guys. Who in the, who in the comments? I held... It, turn, like turn around, show them. Yeah. Like, who held, held it? it here and here? But you used you held it all the way over here. Yeah. And put your thumb on. Let me see this thing if I can show. I think I can sh got a better angle to show the them. middle. Yeah. You held it like this and mm -hmm. and stretched your thumb all the way over here like this, like some kind of goober. Yeah. That's why I have such dexterous thumbs nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. Yeah. What does the thumbs have to do with anything? Uh. uh what do you got? <laughs> Such dexterous thumbs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot we had these. Yep. <laughs> you hated the N64 controller? Who said Thank that? you. Thank you. Thank you. You hit the Z button like this? Blizz 1919 you stood wrapped your hands around. with me. Yes, thank you. What the f because, because when I held it here in the middle like this, uh -huh. I felt like I was all like crunched up on the controller. Like, oh, I'm playing. Oh, like... Could never. It was just not comfortable to be like this. It felt this way. It felt like spread out. Like I was, you know, not stumbling over my own fingers. Uh, Americans. Yeah. Mm, I'm much more in touch with the. Let's see, I, this feels so good. My favorite controller. What favorite controller of all time? Favorite controller of all time. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation Two. PlayStation Two. And that design. That is. Yeah. Really good design. That's my second favorite behind the GameCube. I like the GameCube controller. I thought it was neat, but love the side button on the thing. Yeah. It's like you know, and the little the little B button. Like I, I don't know mm. what I'm doing here. Yeah, <clears throat> uh, the original Xbox controller. I liked holding on to a brick that felt like I was doing it wrong, no matter how I held it. And it's like I can bring my laptop <laughs> yeah. over, but the but the controller <laughs> won't fit in my back. Yeah. Like, no. Sega Saturn controller. All Actually, right. I really liked, um, what's it called? Uh, the Sega, the Dreamcast controller. That big wedge? It was, well, because it had that, like, pop-in thing that would play the little screen in the middle and stuff on it and things like that. It was just a really cool concept, like, that, that controller. You, you know, for the people who don't know about the Dreamcast controller, I'll bring it up real quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really cool. There she, there she. Because yeah, it had that whole that that like little buddy unit thing that you could put in the middle and yeah, a little screen there. Yeah. Did any? Did you ever use that for anything? I don't know. This thing was super bulky and awkward for me, but I played a hell of a lot of Soul Caliber. That's how I played Power Stone. <laughs> Welcome to the Power Stone world. Like that's yeah. Yeah, Sega's announcements and all that stuff are always ridiculous. Yeah. All right. So next up on the list here. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> A new Evil Dead game will be coming out at some point. They haven't announced what it's going to be called, what, what platform is going to be coming out on, but they have announced that Bruce Campbell will be doing the voice of I, it. You, you, and hold on a second. You keep saying they've announced. I don't think anyone's announced anything other than gonna, Bruce, yeah, Bruce Campbell. Yeah. He, he opened his mouth. But he also said, yeah, that's all I need to hear. But yeah. if, you, if you go back right, on here, for a second. Here it is. Yeah, That's the kind so of game. this he, is the kind of game. Yes, Bruce Campbell has described it as a whole immersive kind of dealio. Yeah, it's a whole immersive kind of dealio. Yeah, so it's going to be a whole immersive kind of dealio. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So there, now everyone's wildly speculating on that one phrase because that's all we know. Yeah, because like, there could be VR. That's a really immersive dealio, it isn't it? It must be VR. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe, I don't care. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just like a really yeah. big video game. And Bruce Campbell's a, you know, from a generation who's not used to these big worlds mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah. And he's like, this ain't, you know, your grandfather's know. video game. Evil, Evil Dead Regeneration had a couple hours of gameplay in it and stuff. It was, it was a pretty, phone like, game, right? 
No. Oh, Evil Dead Regeneration came out for like PlayStation 2 oh, and old, Xbox yeah, yeah. and stuff or stuff like that. That was uh Army of Darkness Defense was Yeah, the, that, that was, was the that one was the that, that was the mobile game. No. Evil Dead Regeneration was the one that came out and uh not Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi's brother who was also Joxor in uh Xena, the Warrior Princess. Uh he did the voice of like the little dude that was like this weird kind of like half deadite guy that would follow you around and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you guys ready to see what's happening in Portland? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see what's going on in Portland today. All right. So today in Portland, um, we have uh, an out-of-control female inside the store hitting employees. She's now in the kitchen area in Taco Bell. Yeah. So don't don't go to the Taco Bell on Northeast uh, Wilder. Wi- Wilder, Wi- Wilder Street. Yep. Yeah. Don't, don't head over there. Nope. Wouldn't do it if I were you. Some That Taco Bell is out of control. Let's see what else we got here that's yep. going on. Yeah. Uh, there's a male in the middle of the street screaming and smashing his laptop to the ground. Been there. Like, I want to know what he what he was working on and what happened. I uh, think I think he he got upset with people cheating in PUBG. <laughs> PUBG he was like, and like went down through maybe some like fort someone like hacked his Fortnite account and he got upset. That was it. Yeah, six hundred dollars into his Fortnite account. Yeah. There's a male with an uh, armed with an axe threatening the caller. Yeah, that, that's all right. Fun. Well, I mean, the, someone doesn't have their machete with them then. Okay, someone called the police on this guy, right? Mm-hmm. Multiple callers, multiple callers. <clears throat> Suspicious male walking around pointing a fake rifle at people. The sergeant gets to the scene, right? Mm-hmm. We're painting this picture and realizes it's just him pointing his fingers like a rifle, not actually holding a rifle. So the guy's just like, and multiple people called. The police, because he's like, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Like, and people were like, people. oh, my God, what are we going to do? That gun could be invisible. Like, I, I, Portland people, come on. Come on. No ray tracing talk. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Dagger. No, no ray tracing talk today. Mm. I'm not going to talk about NVIDIA's new stuff until it's in my hands. No, we'll touch it and talk about it. We'll get a good feel yep. for it. No. No ray tracing talk at all. Not even the controversy about how bad the performance is said to be or anything. Nothing. Don't know what you're talking about. It's all who cares or bullshit until I have one in my hands and then we can play with it. Yep. You guys want to see a few more things that are happening in Portland? Yeah. Let's see what else is going on around here. Um, Someone's taking a shower and doing laundry in the fountain. Cool. Cool, yeah. I mean, that's why not? The transient males. Is that what we call... The homeless now transient. Mm. Is that the better word for it? Sure. Until I start, let's let's start making that. Let's start like every time they come out with a new word for something, let's make that negative. Be like, what are you, some kind of transient? And now people will be like, now that's offensive. Yep. And what do you got next? I'll just make everything offensive. <laughs> just keep keep coming. Uh, I'm just reading this one. Uh, what do you got? What do you got? Right down here. Oh, a naked dancer. A no? report of a naked male dancing in the middle of the street. Which then proceeds into naked dancer now masturbating behind a nearby business, which then leads into thankfully uh, naked dancer now finished masturbating and is walking eastbound on Southeast Stark. Oh, this is um yeah. A uh, report yeah. of a naked male in the store. Dispatcher confirmed not the same naked guy from Eleventh and Start. It's another one. So that means there were two separate naked man incidents going on. It's, it's At the, same the exact time. same time. <laughs> They're like, yeah, they thought, like, what, does this guy teleport? Is that the masturbating guy from behind? No, it's a different... No. different... Oh, my God. So, so the naked masturbator is still at large then. <laughs> this is <laughs> this is just a copycat kim- criminal. <laughs> how how at large is he? Yeah. Mm. That's what David Letterman does. Um, I, I think that's enough for right now, right, guys? I guess. Uh, I didn't see any mach- machetes. Yeah. Female wearing a bathrobe, shoving people as she walks around, swearing. Um, what, there's no machete. Okay, hold on a second. Armed with a hammer? Oh, there I, right there. I missed it. I scrolled. must have scrolled yeah. past it. <laughs> Portland call. Uh, this is a report of a male who came out of the bushes yelling he had been stung Stung by, by bees and was carrying a machete. Caller thought he should be checked. What's wrong with the, what's wrong with the guy in the bushes? I don't know. Like maybe he was over there bushwhacking a little bit, clearing a path for like people on bicycles who are getting tangled up and stung by bees. Mm-hmm. He gets stung by a bee, someone calls the police. What mm-hmm. if he's just a good Samaritan with a machete? 
I, well, we couldn't go a week without a machete incident. That sounds a good. That sounds like a fun video game. What? Good Samaritan with a machete. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Yeah. All right. Let's see if we have any questions here. I asked like five minutes ago, but I don't. Yeah. Know, who knows if there'll be anything? Yeah. Do you guys have any questions for us? Let's let's round out our last little bit of time here. If you guys have any questions in the chat, we are happy to answer them, or uh, not, or you know, at least pretend like we know what we're talking about long enough to mention them. I know everything except most things. Yeah. I mean, but that's pretty much unlimited knowledge. According to Verizon, I have mm-hmm. unlimited knowledge. Yeah. Until I hit the end. Of I it. just know a lot about Futurama, so. All right. Would you ever consider returning to QuakeCon, says Liz. Uh, yeah, I would love to go back to QuakeCon. I was busy working on the game during that weekend that QuakeCon was going on. Because uh, that's just when we were available to work on it. Uh, I would want to go back to QuakeCon and just do no coverage. Just play video games and have fun. Have a couple of beers and meet some people. But that, that's about it. I don't really care about doing mm-hmm. any coverage. I want to go and just have fun. But maybe maybe next year. We'll see. But next year, maybe we'll have Swordslinger there to play. Yeah. You guys want to go to QuakeCon and play Swordslinger? Uh, what hair there? care products do you support? Me? I don't know. Or you? Uh, I support uh, aerosol hairspray, uh, volumizer, <laughs> uh, and those things in the 80s that people use to crimp their hair. I just want to tease the hell out of my yeah. hair one day and just come in like that. I don't actually use any product. Yeah. Yes. And I try to use... all just me. I use as, l- as little soap as possible. But, I mean, like, now that I'm hiking a lot, I have to use a tiny bit of soap. But if I can get away with it, and if no one's going to be snuggling up to me, I use a little vinegar in my hair. Mm. Yeah. Then I walk around sell- smelling like a fucking salad, and I've got, you know, vegans chasing me down the street. It's... <laughs> It's fun, you know, but uh, thank you. <laughs> oh God! Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> so no, but seriously though, the vinegar is good because your hair doesn't need that much soap. In fact, it's bad for your hair to put that much soap in your hair. So if you want luxurious hair like this, you fucks. In Portland, that's a viable day. Yeah. Uh, you can be like, <laughs> viable day uh, I only use vinegar in my hair because I feel like the shampoo industry has gotten way too mainstream. You guys want a story about this? Yeah. So I, I, I learned a lot of this hygiene stuff from living with a gay guy in New York who does some off-Broadway and on-Broadway stuff, as a matter of fact. He's been in a couple of movies, too, but mm. nice guy. Um, and he just kept the place completely clean, really cool. Um, a total dude, usually, you know, like he wasn't, um, I mean, like if you go out and hang out with a group of people, he wasn't like the one that was the most flamboyant. I was probably that guy, you know, I was like, sure. the one, that was the one floating around the room being like, Hey everybody, I'm cooking. I do that voice, you know, when I cook. Okay. Of course, obviously. Right. Sure. <laughs> anyway, um, he, he, does, he did that in his hair and just people would come over and be like, how is this so soft? What do you do? And he's like, your hair has natural oils. And when you destroy them, and <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool. But, yeah. Enough hair talk. I don't want to hair it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. No random dude interrupting the stream today? Random dude. Random dude. Oh, they're talking about the uncatchable man. Yeah, we haven't caught him yet. Yeah. Um, the, the guy that does, keeps on redacting things? Yeah. He's, he's a phantom wrapped inside a ghost, wrapped inside an enigma. We can't find him. Dreg says, um, are you... Or anyone you know related to Adam Jensen, choose your words carefully, sir. I've been on to your presence. Adam Jensen. Hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you didn't ask about J.C. Denton, though. That would be a different story. Mm. That would be a totally <laughs> different story. Oh, we're disappointing <laughs> everyone's everybody. waiting everyone's waiting for the red dude the red or the redacted dude i've read i've read it from across the street i thought just the redneck dude the redneck dude. i taste you hi uh, the redacted dude mm. um let's see i'll do this one more time we didn't do a redacted today who who didn't do a redacted? The guy didn't the, the guy, yeah we didn't, didn't we didn't have one i don't know anything about this this thing yeah like i said the guy's a phantom yep okay i don't think there's any more questions here yeah Anybody else got a question for us? I'm about to conclude the meeting. Yeah. Mm. So just a reminder, uh, there is no serious business tomorrow because we did serious business today. And, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> find a gut. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I bet we could find a gut over in Eastern Oregon. Yeah, there's plenty in Eastern Oregon. <laughs> Somebody in Eastern Oregon got the plague this week. Yeah, something. Like, that's which what you do when you come to Oregon. Get plague. Yeah. Like, that's going to be great for the tourism industry here. Keep Portland plague infected. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Be well. If you do not uh, follow or subscribe to our channel, you will get plague. Yep. We will send a thousand fleas to your household infested with plague and you'll get it for sure 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent. it's no laughing matter he's cured by yep. the way he's so he's gonna be okay mm-hmm. yep and they gave him antibiotics which we have now all right everybody uh we'll see you next friday and maybe at a stream in between then and now yeah so, who knows see you guys later bye